Hey y'all, welcome back. Thank you for joining and I hope you enjoy the video. I do hope that if you are not already subscribed that you do subscribe if you like it and also give me a thumbs up and a comment. And if you're not following me on Instagram, uh, maybe check it out and give me a little follow. So today we are going to use these dual forms and if you watched my last video, um, I bought these on Amazon and you will know about that set. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely go check it out. So I'm using this pink extension gel slash poly gel. And y'all, my house is so cold that the stuff was just about impossible to get out of the tube. And you'll see me struggle throughout the video trying to get this stuff out of the tube. And then when it hit my warm hands, it got sticky and it was just sticking to everything. It was a sticky mess. Um, mostly my hands were just covered in sticky. You gotta love poly gel. So this is the first time in a super, super long time, probably years since I have tried to do dual forms. Every time I've ever tried to do them previously, it has always been a massive fail. And I do try to use the poly gel brush and slip solution, but as you know, if you've watched me before, you know I usually never use a brush. I use this uh, cuticle pusher to manipulate poly gel. It is so much easier for me. I don't know why. Those brushes just stick and they, they just drive me crazy. They don't, um, they don't do well for me. Uh, let me know if you've tried this with the cuticle stick or if you prefer to use the brush and if you have problems with your poly gel sticking to those brushes. I know I do and it's so frustrating. You'll see me switch back and forth throughout the set trying to get the brush to work and I just, I don't know what it is about the brush. It just doesn't do me well. I will say that I really struggled with this set. Um, in some aspects it was a fail. Some aspects it was not too bad. Um, I do think it turned out pretty cool. In the long run, I think the Madame Glam polishes that I ended up using are so stunning. They really made the set look a lot nicer in the end. However, you can definitely see the flaws and mistakes that I made along the way. And then when I went to start f doing the filing, of course they're going to pop off. Um, so I have actually ordered some new peel-off base coat. Hopefully it comes soon because, one, the base coat I've been using is kind of everything pops off bef what, during filing. So it's a little too good. And other than that, I am just out. I'm like down to the very bottom of the bottle and having a problem getting enough out to actually use it. So there's that. And other than the f problems that I did have... The set actually went by pretty quickly. I will say though, all in all, I need a lot more practice with these poly gels doing dual forms. It's just been very difficult for me. So I've done more than one set since, since I did this set. Um, and I still struggle, but you'll see in the upcoming videos how they turn out. I will say I spent all this time smoothing out and making the bottoms look good and you see how it's just sticking to me and it just undoes everything that I, all the shaping that I did. So then I had to go back and fix it and in the end I just said to heck with it. If they're, they're a little messed up I can go ahead and file it off because y'all this stuff was just sticking to me and sticking to absolutely everything that I touched. I was so sticky by the end of this set. I might as well have bathed in alcohol to get it all off. Have you ever had that same problem with poly gel? It's just the stickiness is what's so off-putting for me about doing poly gels. And I think that's why a lot of people don't do poly gels as much as uh, probably we should practice it. But then filing can fix so many mistakes. Y'all, I was having problems getting these dual forms off after I cured the nail. Uh... <laughs> You'll see me struggle with that. Um, I made them so long that uh, it was towards all the way to the end of the nail to the dual form tip. And so it gave me a little issue getting it off. But I did get them off. For... And yeah, I really do love this pink poly gel. It is so pretty. It matched my nail beds almost perfectly. Unfortunately, I used up 
what was left of this bottle. It wasn't full to begin with. It was probably about halfway. Here you can see me struggling to get it out of the tube. I wish there was a better way to um, do that. Maybe they could find some better kind of container to put them in. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But uh, anyway, I will go ahead and let you watch. And if there's anything I feel like I need to explain, um, I will be pop back in. There you go. It's sticking to me again. You gotta love it. So I did leave the video in real time. Um, so I hope you enjoy. It's a little bit different from most videos that I do because I usually speed them up. But for this one, I just didn't. I figured I'd let you watch me struggle. <laughs> 